Greg here with RhinoTech up in Egan, Minnesota, where we do all our manufacturing and distribution. And I uh, wanted to bring another video to you on how to get started in the decorative garment industry with a nominal amount of money outlay. Now, what we're going to be talking about today is using digital heat transfer paper, and it's going to be with an inkjet printer, both light color garments and dark color garments. <coughs> The tools that you need um, are very important, obviously. And the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a good inkjet printer. Now, many of the inkjet printers that are sitting on your desk, color inkjet printers, um, Epson's and Canon's and HP's use pigment ink. That's what you want to use. Now, most of those are also going to be limited to 8.5 by 11. So you can start out that way. But if you want to be able to do 8.5 by 11, 1117, or even larger, then you're going to want to go to um, one that I would recommend, which is an Epson 1430 Artisan. We don't sell these. You can Google it on, on, uh, online. And uh, generally, you can find them at a very nominal price, and then sometimes it's even free freight. But again, that's the Epson 1430 Artisan. And that'll do up to 13 inches wide. Now, the single jet paper, which is for your light colored garments, and so when I say light colored garments, I mean light gray, white, light pastels, um, also has a 13 inch roll. So that's what gives you a larger format capability. The other thing as a, as a tool that you're going to want is a heat press. Now I have three of them sitting here that we, we sell, and um, for inkjet, all, any one of these three will do the job for you. However, if you're going to be looking at jumping into doing laser papers, which are weedless, um, then you might want to consider the more upper end side. We have the RT1620. This is a clamshell up and down this way. We also make one which is a swing away. These start at about $600. This one is a, is a real work do, workhorse. It's a um, Geonite DK20S. It's a swing away, so it goes off to the side like this, which I particularly like because it's easy for me to get in and out, not worrying about getting burnt with the, with the clamshell. And again, a 16 by 20 base. This thing weighs about 210 pounds. Um, digital timer, digital temperature, your up and down adjustment, and it will go up quite high so that if you want to do plaques at a later date, you can certainly do that. This is the Hicks Swingman 20. It's also a swing away. It has a 16 by 20 bed. Um, it has the same type of features, digital heat, digital timer, um, adjustment up and down. Now both of these are just under $1,600. So it becomes just a little bit of a preference on what you want as far as weight because this is about 120 pounds, this is 210 pounds. <coughs> but they'll both do a very good, good job for you. So. Um, those are the two tools that you really need. And then from there, of course, you need the paper. And the first thing we're going to do is look at single jet. Single jet, again, is the one for the light colored garment. And um, we've, I took the liberty of printing out on an 8.5 by 11 uh, a design. Now, on the back, which you can't see on the camera, is um, a logos are printed into it so that you know that the surface without it is the one you want to print on. You'll also notice that it's wrong reading. And that's because when you go to put it onto a shirt, we're going to spin that around and lay it down, making it right reading on the shirt when you peel the paper off. You want to print this out of your inkjet printer. I really recommend that you let them sit for at least 15 minutes and dry thoroughly before you put them down. Because in this particular case, these are not weedless. You have to trim the excess white off if you don't want it. And it's a good idea to trim. Um, even though you're, you're transferring the entire surface and the carrier, that's holding the ink in place. Um, with a single jet, it's very light. Um, I don't ever really see the marking, the, the edge where I cut. Um, so it's, it's a pretty interesting product. Um, I took the liberty of cutting one ahead of time. <coughs> so I just trimmed all the excess off. It took me maybe a minute and a half um, to do that. Um, of course, if you had a, uh, a cutter, you could do it that way as well, an automatic cutter. I just did it with the scissors. So getting started. Inkjet printer, heat press, paper. So I've trimmed that out. So the first thing I'm going to do 
for my light colored shirt. Um, I like to put parchment down on my badge because I don't want to transfer anything to it. Take my shirt. We're actually working with a guild Anne here today. Position it on your press center. And then I'm going to heat press it for 8 to 10 seconds. <clears throat> what I'm doing is getting the moisture out and any wrinkles that might be in the, in the shirt. At that point, we're going to take our design, position it on the shirt where we want it, I put parchment paper on top, and press. Now, we're going to be doing this for at 350 degrees, we're going to do it for 16 seconds, and at that point we're going to open it up and we're going to do a hot peel. Okay, so we take this, we'll leave the shirt on the bed, grab it in a corner, and peel it off. If the paper starts to rip, it's not an issue. There we go. We transfer the image. It's down on our shirt. It's that simple. However, what I'm going to do is I like to go back, give it another um, five to ten seconds because I was peeling away from the shirt. Not, I would try to roll it, but sometimes you peel away or up a little bit. This way I'm going to make sure I embed the design into the fibers of the shirt. Reposition it. and I'm going to give it approximately eight seconds of pressing. Move the parchment paper, and you're ready to go. Single jet, eight and a half by 11, 11, 17, and a 13 inch wide roll. Now, again, light colored garments, white, light grays, light pastels. Simple and easy. Just set that over there. The next one we're going to do is single jet opaque. Now this one's a little bit different in that we have a, a white coating on our transfer paper. So on the clear side you print your image but right reading. Now the reason for this is that we're going to be peeling this surface off and then placing it in position to do the shirt. And the white background is just heavy enough so that it stops any bleed coming through of a dark garment so that it would fade it out into the background kind of thing. Again, we trim it such as this to get away to get all the extra white that I didn't want in my design. We take our shirt, and again, heat press it just for a little bit to get any wrinkles. Okay, get your shirt all lined up, and then we're going to press it for a short period of time, five to eight seconds, ten seconds, just to get the moisture and the um, humidity out of the shirt. Okay. Now, we take our design, which we've trimmed, single jet opaque, and we're going to peel off that front coating. So you have to flick it in the corner with your nail, and you can get it to start to come up, and then peel it apart.
go. So we've peeled it all off, take our design, position it on the shirt, and cover it with parchment paper. And once again, we're going to be pressing this at 350 degrees up to 375 for 25 seconds. And then this is a cold peel. A lot of times the parchment paper will almost fall off, but we prefer to wait until it's cool before you remove it. Um, so 350, 25 seconds, medium heavy to heavy pressure. And I'll get it off the hot bed and just lay it there and we'll have our shirt in a, in a moment. So to recap, you need a heat press, you need an inkjet printer, you need single jet and you need single jet opaque and you're in business. It's a great place to start. You can always move into getting into the laser weedless products. Um, which have a phenomenal look and feel, and, um, but it gives you the option to go a variety of directions as you move up and start doing other things. So we'll peel this off. And we have our shirt. So we have our single jet, opaque, and our single jet. Thank you for watching. You know where to find us. Until next time.